Artist Paula Zamet embraces the ancient and labor-intensive art of encaustic painting. Take a look. So Corktown Studios is an artist collective here in North Corktown, and it consists of eight artists, all working in different mediums. And we are really so supportive of each other's art. I think art, when you take the time to look at it, it slows us down and pulls us away from life. Things that get us so busy and constantly moving and in motion and thinking about the next thing that we have to do or to complete or to be successful at. And with art, there aren't those parameters. It's, it's something that can be very, very personal. Um, for me, it, it is very personal, and it's also um, a way that I take care of myself. So one of the mediums that I work in is called encaustic. Encaustic is a mixture of be natural beeswax with Damar crystals, resin, added to it. It's melted together at a very low heat. This is my clear medium, which is being remelted from the prior session. Uh, this is the mixture of beeswax with the Damar resin, and I always keep a certain amount of this without the pigment added to it so that I can achieve a translucent look to my layers as I fuse them together. So to add pigment to the clear medium, I'm gonna place a, an amount on the pancake griddle, and then I have a choice of either adding powder Or there's many times where I'll go in with an oil stick and that adds a very concentrated amount of pigment as well. <clears throat> it's actually a very ancient technique. It's been around for a couple thousands of years. The Fayum mummy paintings, which a few are found in the Detroit Institute of Arts, are painted in this method. And because the beeswax acts as a preservative, the pigments look just like the day that they were painted. They retain a ton of depth and vibrancy. My intent, I think I'm very happy when a viewer looks at these pieces and the first thing they do is say, oh, I wanna touch it. Because I feel like it's been a successful piece then, I feel like there's something very intriguing about it that's pulling the person in. Why is it that they want to touch it? They want to know what it feels like. Is it, is it hard? Is it soft? Is it going to move? Um, I think this is a technique that you can create very organic looking pieces with. And it's a medium that offers that like no other medium does. Gallery Camille is located in Midtown Detroit and one of the primary focuses of the gallery is to showcase and promote Detroit-based artists both in Detroit and outside of the city. We're happy to represent Paula Zamet. She has a diverse body of work painting with both oils in a figurative style and with encaustics, which is a very ancient and labor-intensive form of art, to create abstract pieces. This really adds to the scope of work that we're able to show at the gallery. To me, body language is so interesting, and I did not want these pieces to be about what's the facial expression, what are her eyes doing, and I think as human beings, we're really drawn to people's eyes and looking at the face. And I wanted these pieces to be so much about the gesture and the body language and just that hint of sensuousness, you know, not in an overt way, like we see constantly in modern media nowadays. I wanted there to be that that softness there, and that femininity, but in a, in a sophisticated sexuality kind of way. For me, whenever I do anything that's more abstract versus my figurative pieces, 
I love hearing what everybody else, the viewers bringing as much to the table as me as the artist, the producer of the work. You know, depending on what your life experiences have been, what you've been exposed to, have you spent a lot of time out in the woods? Have you spent a lot of time near the water? You're, you're gonna see different things when you look at these pieces. So I don't, I don't like to tell anybody what they're supposed to be seeing when they look at that. Some really rough days, for sure, where I was close to tears, but you just get back out there and, and do it. And the result has blown me away. I had no idea that I was capable of this and to have not have discovered this, even though it's later in life. I, I, I can't even imagine now. My life has changed completely, 180. Yeah.